Video equipment rental costs paid for by peep code screencasts. So, uh, my name's Matthew Todd. There's my information uh, URLs. Uh, I have a bit of an idea to run by you that's kind of odd. Uh, it's also a work in progress, which is why I'm making my slides in TextMate. Um, uh, where's, there's my mouse, yeah, sorry. So, uh, there, there's one more URL I have that I got um, a couple years ago. As of November 2006, I moved from Raleigh, North Carolina to Moshi, Tanzania. Um, it's a tiny town at the base of Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, it's a wonderful story, um, and there's a girl involved. Uh, so uh, uh, Valerie and I were married around then, November. Uh, another nice thing about TextMate is you can make your slides executable. So uh, uh, this will, if it works, take us into Google Earth you're prone to vertigo, close your eyes right now. Um, so this is rapidly crashing in on where we are now. Um, and I think I got the pinprick in the right part of the building. Uh, <laughs> so after a second or two, we're uh, zooming around the globe. Africa, here's Tanzania. Uh, Dar es Salaam used to be the capital. They moved it to Dodoma to be more geographically central. Nobody lives there, it's desert. Uh, uh, this small island is Zanzibar. It's where Freddie Mercury was born. Uh, that guy. Um, right here by Lake Victoria-ish is the Serengeti. Um, Somewhere in that brown area, uh, it's where you go on safari and see big animals. Uh, this, you see the white spot there on the border, that's Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, the highest mountain in Africa. Um, uh, inconvenient truth, you know, uh, glaciers melting and all of that. Uh, right here is Moshi, that's, that's where we live. Um, in fact, right here, is, where's my mouse, where we live, right, that one. So, um, so it's, it's, it's taken some getting used to. Um, it's about 8,000 miles from here. Uh, so let's close that. Um, what's kind of come about living there, trying to hang on to some semblance of a career there, has been this, this nice intersection of, um, of finding local groups of people doing good things that need computer help, you know, that could use a, a small application, and finding that in the process of working for them, um, there, there's maybe one or two Tanzanian programmers I've met who are still kind of getting their legs under them, learning how to do things, and it's been a really good opportunity to um, pair with them, uh, uh, work together, help them learn, uh, not just programming, we've done a lot of sysadmin, Linuxy kind of stuff. Um, it's been a good time. Some of the organizations we've worked for, there's a home for, uh, home for street children uh, that my wife runs. Um, in the slide notes, which will be available, uh, there are URLs for all these places. Uh, one that supports uh, porters actually helping people show up all their stuff up the mountain. Um, a local hospital also. That should come back in a minute. Um, uh, this one guy, Joe Kim, I've been pairing with. Uh, it's been, it, it's been fun. Uh, we've been working together about six months, and the uh, uh, best, best moment ever was uh, maybe a month or two ago. We were at the whiteboard writing something up, and uh, Joachim, who says very little, says to me, you know, Matthew, that, that seems like this blog post I was reading the other day, a skinny controller, fat model, and, and inside I was just like, yeah! <laughs> Something's happening. Um, it's, it's, yeah, a good time. Um, so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty limited. I, I don't scale uh, like as, as well as Rails does. Um, <laughs> and uh, I've also found I'm, I'm 
pretty professionally lonely over there. Uh, you know, my wife doesn't think that XML jokes are really funny. Uh, <laughs> um, so, so I, I don't know. I'm just sort of tossing ideas around here, but um, it's a it's a fun place. You know, uh, <laughs> um, uh, so uh, I, I don't know. Maybe some of you are in a position where uh, you could. You know, you're between gigs or uh, could take a few weeks off, come, come climb the mountain, come see something, come pair with us for a couple weeks, you know. Um, you would... Yes, we want to It's one very gray pixel, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so you, you double my teaching capacity uh, pairing with someone. Um, you could probably increase a little bit of our speed working. Uh, for another organization here. Um, I have a few other thoughts, uh, but that's, that's the gist of it. Um, other things Moshi has to offer are uh, lots of board games, if you're into Settlers of Catan. Um, uh, beer that comes in 500 milliliter bottles for about 80 cents, uh, so that's good. Um, uh, right, so small teams, we, I, I can imagine really just four people working together is about all we could probably manage. Um, and you'd probably want to plan to program with us for a couple weeks if you were into this kind of thing. Um, thank you. Um, sometimes people come to volunteer in a place like this and they say, we'll help dig a ditch or we'll help paint something. That's, that's good, but uh, what we have is actually something to offer that people, most people most, we, we probably have a skill level higher than most Tanzanian programmers do. Um, you have something that you can actually contribute that people there probably aren't able to do. Um, and yeah, this is, yeah, you can read that later. Um, so uh, next actions, if you're interested, um, get in touch with me. Uh, if you're marginally interested, just want to see what might be happening, subscribe to my blog. Um, I might post something about it. And uh, all this stuff is on GitHub. So thanks. Video equipment rental costs paid for by Peepcode Screencasts.